That is a Wednesday. Well, that's what it said. I mean, when I jumped in the elevator. <laughs> Will you make a dog do a trick? Will you make him sit up? Come, make him sit up. Make him come. When I count to three, I wonder what the hell you're doing with your shoe. One, two, three. It's your shoe. You want to put it on? Tony started out as a clinical hypnotist, but after 10 years decided to take to the stage to use his abilities to entertain. In spite of the popular belief that only certain people can be hypnotized, Tony says it can be done to anyone, and anyone can learn how to hypnotize other people. It's all down to the way you use your voice, the sentences you choose, and the suggestions you make. Well, you won't fall down your perfect balance, okay, sleep. Your friends are not pretending, I promise you. It's real. I've been doing this for 34 years now, I think. It's on the stage for 15, 16, 17 years now. But uh, you can learn hypnosis. And I could teach you in an hour how to do hypnosis. The problem is then, how would you use it in this? Would you abuse it? Would you abuse your subjects? Would you go on an ego trip? Would you have them taking their clothes off and things like that? That's very wrong. I mean, I work in Germany regularly because I don't embarrass anybody. And I won't embarrass. The most important people in this room this evening are the people on the stage. I'm very concerned about them. I want them to have a good time. I want them to enjoy hypnosis. Plus, I'm obliged under the rules of the federation I belong to, which is a federation of ethical stage hypnotists. I'm obliged not to embarrass anybody, not to uh, ridicule hypnosis. It's lighthearted, it's fun, and very enjoyable. And the audience certainly enjoyed it when the hypnotized volunteers became a class of naughty seven-year-olds. Put some sums now. Put some sums on the board, okay? We do an A, B, C, and we'll ask you for There's an A. We're going to be here. B for ball. And C for ball. We'll do the cap. C. C, A, T. Right. This is the best class. Now, we're going to get to know each other. Hi. What's your name? from seven-year-olds to the number seven, which Tony said no longer existed. But would Derek be convinced? How many fingers and thumbs all together do you have, Derek? How many all together, Derek? Ten. Ten. You do me a favor, Derek. Would you face that way? Would you hold your fingers up, Derek? Would you count them one at a time? Would you point them? Would you call them up very loudly? Oh. Nice and loud, Derek. Oh. That's it. You hold them up, I'll count them, Derek. You hear only my voice. All of the sounds have no meaning to you. Right, let's call them nice and loud. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. What comes after six? Has anyone ever been angry with you for um, having made them forget themselves and do things they wouldn't normally do? I would never embarrass anybody go too far. I mean, it's fun playing pianos, it's fun peeing a coffee pot, it's great watching Laurel Hardy in the movies, you know. It's even fabulous when you put a pair of glasses and you see somebody naked sitting next to you. You wear glasses here, try this one. He's not going to believe this. He's not going to believe it. He's not going to talk with his life. Do you want to stand up, level? Come on, level. The audience are embarrassed, that's what amazes me. I mean, I'll give a guy a pair of glasses and say, put them on, you see everybody naked, they're great. Of course, I'm very friendly, very persuasive. And I put them on, and they look and they go, and they look at the girl and go, oh, he's having the best time he's ever had in his life. He's got a pair of magic glasses, he can see people naked. The people in the audience are going, and I'm saying, he's hypnotized, what are you doing this for? And they're covering themselves up. So it's the audience where you get embarrassed, not the subjects, they're having a marvelous time. The count of three, fellas. You're all washing machines. You will not leave your chairs. One, two, three. You're not school right here. Well, what sort of reaction do you get afterwards from the people you have hypnotized? Well, they can't believe it. Mostly from their friends. See, people come to me and they say, I don't believe what was happening. The nicest compliment you can give a stage hypnotist is to say you don't believe him, even to call your names ridicule you. That's the nicest thing can happen to me because it means I'm doing something on that stage that they don't believe. And that's a compliment. If good-natured disbelief is a reaction Tony's looking for, he certainly got it from his volunteers that evening. 
I have been told.